behind it, that's the lace school. People from all around Europe can still come here to make the lace. Lace is very important here in town. There's even a little legend about Serena, a little girl who fell in love with a, little, with a boy. It was an impossible love. She was making the lace because she had to work so many hours because she had to maintain her family. She had a widowed mother with five children. So she worked a lot. During the work, she fell asleep and she saw a vision of a nice silvery tapestry. When she wake up, she just made the tapestry of the lace. A big, very rich merchant bought the lace and so lace became very famous. Still the day now, we will pass a lot of lace shops. You will see. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> So this is the Berg Square, the oldest square in town. It's around this square that the city has its foundations in the 9th century. In the corner, that's the Basilica of the Holy Blood from the 12th century. You can, you can visit some drops of Jesus' blood there. The big building in the middle is the City Hall from the 14th century with on the first floor gothic room with wall paintings. Very nice to have a visit. This is the old records office, 16th century, Italian Renaissance style, a lot of gold. And over there, the old palace of justice from the 18th century. You can visit every building. Square, the heart of town. Around the market square, there are some very important guild houses. A guild house was very important during the Middle Ages. People became member of a guild when they had the same profession or craft. The meaning of a guild was to be sure about their social status and have some rules about trading, about the prices, so people won't, won't mess with the prices. Very important, they always have very big houses. Normally, like the um, guild house with the shoemaker has a lot of steps, okay. learn a lot of money. The tower is the Belfry Tower, an old alarm tower from the 13th century. 84 meters high. On top, there's a carillion. 47 bells. 47. 47 bells. If you don't believe me, no problem. You can visit. But you need to do 366 steps. 366. No elevator, no parachutes. No? No, no, no. <laughs> But of course, museums are very important, 21 museums. One of them is the Groeningen Museum. It's a museum of Flemish primitive paintings, painters like Van Eyck, Bosch, Rubens. Um, Van Eyck, you know him? Yes, yes. It was very important because he painted the virgin with the child in all paintings. So primitives are very known because they used oil, so something new. Very shiny, Bosch as well, a very um, important painter. And uh, but his paintings are very well spoken because a lot of students try to see what he's painting. They never know, never. even now. <laughs> if you want to see his paintings, Groningen Museum. Oh. Very nice. Only paintings there.
Cause the man with the hat is walking kinda slow And I've never tried to 